when you do this clearing with intention, you state why you're clearing this out or what you're making space for in your life. And it doesn't have to be that, okay, I mean, I'm getting rid of, rid of these clothes and giving them away, so I will get new clothes. It's not necessarily that. So it can be anything. Give anything away, cleanse anything away for something entirely different to come into your life. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the Feel Good Factor. I'm Susmita Veganosaurus, and I'm so glad you could join me here today. Hello there! I missed you. <laughs> so for two weeks in a row, I didn't publish a podcast episode. As a part of my business coaching. I've been teaching people to follow their inspiration, to not do things forcefully because they feel they have to, but to take a break and step away if required, allow inspiration to flow and then create content, do work, whatever it is. So I figured I should be taking my own advice. <laughs> and two weeks, no inspiration. So I said, okay, let me just not stress too much about publishing a podcast episode because finally when I do, I wanted to share quality content that's useful, that brings value to all of you. Tonight's the full moon and today I kind of got active. Usually I keep my crystals for charging just at the nick of time in the night and all that. But today in the afternoon itself, I was like, okay, I'm going to charge my crystals today. I'm going to keep everything ready to do my burning ritual in the evening, etc., etc. And, you know, I had, I had all this energy. And I was recording an Instagram reel with ideas for full moon rituals. Suddenly, I was inspired to record a podcast episode about this. I'm like... Oh my God, there's only so much I can share on an Instagram reel, but there is so much more content. There is so much more information that I can put into a podcast episode. You know, I felt that's going to be so useful to anybody looking for ideas, guidance, inspiration, or even just simple old reminder and motivation uh, to do something for the full moon. So the moon phases are a very interesting thing and you know I encourage you to read more about how the various moon phases affect us and our lives and the energies that you know the moon carries for us. I won't get too deeply into that right now because in this episode I want to focus particularly on the full moon energy or rather the waning moon energy. The period from the time we have the full moon throughout the next two weeks until we reach the new moon. So these two weeks and the energy they carry every single month is what this episode is going to be all about. The full moon, it represents clearing, cleansing and it carries a lot of potential and a lot of power. It supports you in the cleansing, clearing, detoxing process. The idea is you start at the full moon and you know the day following the full moon and as the moon reduces in size, as it starts waning, you can reduce things, you can clear out things, you can just push things out of your life, cleanse things out of your life that aren't serving you anymore. This could be in terms of things, relationships, people, work, activities that you do, your interests, anything, anything at all that's holding you back, that's not serving you, that's not helping you in your growth anymore. This is a great phase to begin letting them all go because you're in the flow of this letting go energy and during this time you have the support of the moon to do it. So the first 
ritual that I always do is as a person who loves crystals, like I, I own a lot of crystals and, you know, I'm a sucker for them. I have a big collection. I haven't done a very in-depth study into crystals, but I have some basic knowledge that I've gained over the years and I use them more intuitively. I just see what I'm feeling connected to at a time and, and then I use them that way. And I also use them to form grids around the house, around setting intentions and whatnot, in various ways that I use them. Crystals love the full moon energy that feeds them and recharges them. So whatever crystals, gemstones that you own, that you have, things like carnelian, amethyst, rose quartz, you might have these crystals around the house in the form of jewelry. It could be anywhere. You might just be using them, wearing them. But you have these beautiful tools in your hand and you can harness the energy. And to harness the energy, you need to feed them, care for them and love them. Crystal charging goes this way. First, you cleanse them. You take each crystal and you... Hold it under running water and then rub it with your hands with so much love. So this way, it's cleaning out whatever you know energy that it's uh, gathered over the month, which is stopping its flow or, or reducing its power in any way. And then it's cleansing out all that energy. And the reason to wash each crystal with your hand is so that the crystal is connected to your energy and it's programmed to support you. Each crystal enhances certain things. Some are protective, uh, some enhance love, calmness, peace, you know, various things like that. What you do when you wash the crystal with your hands is you're programming that crystal to be conducive to you. So the energy of the crystal works in alignment with your energy. So whatever is best for your growth, whatever is best for you at this point in life, the crystal works towards that. And that's the reason you're washing the crystal with love, connecting to it. And then you place the crystals where the moonlight, the full moonlight falls on it in the night. If you have a terrace or a rooftop or a garden somewhere which is open all night long and you're actually safely able to keep your crystals there, fantastic, nothing like it. But something's better than nothing. Just because you don't have an open area to access, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do anything at all. Even that little bit of energy makes a big difference. So even if you only have a little balcony or even if you have a space next to a window <laughs> where the moonlight's falling in through the window for a certain period in the night. At least keep the crystals there. So cleanse them, wash them and then place them where they can get recharged under the moonlight. So that is the first ritual that I really connect to and I highly recommend to you. The next one is a cleansing ritual. So we all need to clear out emotions, clear out things that are stuck inside, energy, thoughts, feelings that are acting as blocks to the flow of beautiful, abundant energy through your life. So these block energies can come in the form of anger towards someone, resentment or sadness or whatever it is, right? All the low vibe emotions that you're feeling, low vibe thoughts that you're having. So to cleanse these out, we do the right tear and burn. Take some time aside for yourself. Sit in a place with a sheet of paper, blank sheet of paper, and then write out all the angry, sad, negative feelings that you have. Just, just let them out onto the paper. Nobody's going to read this, so don't hesitate with what you're going to write. You can use all the expletives that you want. There are people who it's easy to be angry at. There are people in your life who it, it's just easy to be angry at them and write about them. But then the more difficult part is when there are people you love who are close to you, family members, close friends, whoever. 
and these people you love them and you feel bad writing negatively about them but then you still do carry these issues of anger and you know relationships are complicated so it's not like you only love someone and feel only good feelings for them right you go through these phases of a range of emotions and thoughts about every person in your life so whatever anger whatever you have against them just write it all out you know just just scold them scream at them and just pour your heart out onto that sheet of paper you can do this in a general thing like take everything in your life that you're not happy about and write that down in the paper or you can focus each full moon for a specific person or to a specific situation or two in your life and then write it out that that's totally up to you but just make this a habit and you can do this any time by the way whenever you're upset it it works but as i said the full moon energy is just going to support you <laughs> through this So this can be done on the day of the the full moon or the next day or the you know just the next couple of days following that you know closest to that full moon right after the full moon also works after you've written everything don't read it because you've you've flushed it out of your system right you've just put it out there you don't want to take that back in tear the paper into teeny tiny little bits as much as you can take pleasure in that tearing you know you're just tearing it up and you're just letting go of those emotions it's a ritual it's like this whole thing that you feel while you're letting it go and then burn all the pieces of paper after you've burnt it of course make sure you're you know somewhere in an open area while you're burning it so the smoke goes away and all that don't do it inside your house Uh, or even if you do do it right next to your window and stuff burn it and then once it's burnt you flush down the ashes just flush it down that's it so that is like a huge release a huge relief you know like you're letting go of things that are just not good for you all these feelings emotions thoughts they're all gone and when you do this you feel so much lighter you feel just so beautiful <laughs> so try it and see if you've never done this before and you you're going to like really be amazed at this in case you are not able to burn it if you don't have a place where you can actually burn it safely no problem you take the torn paper and then you go out of your house and discard it so it shouldn't be discarded in your house in a dustbin again go out somewhere and you know put it in a trash can wherever it is go out and discard it okay so don't do it indoors or alternately you can just soak it in a bit of water for a while and then if possible flush it down but then that depends again on your system in your house your plumbing and how safe it is to flush down paper and bits of paper and what not so that's that's up to you the idea is not about perfection so write tear burn flush yes that works beautifully but if you're not able to burn and flush you can still write and tear and then get rid of it <laughs> so that's that's important doing it is better than being you know, or, or trying to be perfect about it and then going with this cleansing theme you can do some cleansing rituals around your home around your space wherever you spend more time at you know just do some good cleansing rituals you can take you know a singing bowl the buddhist singing bowl look it up if you don't know what that is and then just take that around the whole area your whole home walk in an anti clockwise direction you know start from one corner and then just go all around the house you can do that if you don't have a singing bowl if you have a bell use that it's it's a sound the sound is the energy that's cleansing away and you know getting rid of breaking away and getting rid of the unwanted uh, low vibe energy so that's what you're doing around the house so sound cleansing is one thing another is either smudging or taking an agarbatti an incense stick spreading that smell around the house i feel connected to the smell of uh, sandal incense burning i have this beautiful incense sticks that i get from a very specific place and i stock them up and use them so that sandal stick is a beautiful smell it's a very calming smell 
and all this only if you are able to handle that smoke that comes when there is an incense lit so not everybody is able to handle that or you light it you keep all the windows open and take it around the house and then keep it in a place where there's a lot of breeze and the smell doesn't just just uh, stay inside the house so you just do like a very short cleansing so you're just putting that that smell of that incense that smudging of the whole place you can also smudge using smudge sticks sage even things like uh, frankincense and we have something called samrani here which we use in india so you can use that whatever you use for smudging whatever is available for this this energy cleansing these are aromas which are meant to drive away and push away the low vibe energies from your house of course it's always good to meditate and use that full moon energy to create some intentions for clearing things out from your life i have a full moon meditation available on my insight timer profile so if you need a place to start or a specific guidance for a full moon meditation then you can listen to that meditation and follow the guidance so it will help you through the process i i might actually have two meditations i'm not sure let me see whatever i find with the full moon related <laughs> meditations i'm going to share those links with you on the blog post of this uh, episode and then finally use the two weeks following the full moon to declutter physically also like so we we did the whole emotional you know and mental decluttering but we have to do physical decluttering too right we need to get rid of things which aren't again serving a purpose or which just which we are just holding which are just sitting there so get rid of things get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore you don't use anymore it could be just a few things it could be a lot of things you go with the flow and because you know as the moon wanes it's supporting you it's it's helping you clear out so you're able to do a better job of this you can use this in an even more intentional way you can do intentional clearing out intentional giving away and cleansing of stuff see whenever you get rid of stuff it's creating space for something new and useful to enter your life so there's only so much space you have in your life so you keep clearing so that more comes so abundance is supposed to flow things are supposed to flow through your life it's not supposed to come and get stuck with you when you do this clearing with intention you state why you're clearing this out or what you're making space for in your life and it doesn't have to be that okay i mean i'm getting rid of rid of these clothes and giving them away so i will get new clothes it's not necessarily that so it can be anything give anything away cleanse anything away for something entirely different to come into your life <laughs> create that intention you know what do you want what is a new thing you want in your life it could be a material thing it could be something totally intangible but but beautiful this this works with clearing things as well as cleaning like actual literal cleaning you know like dusting scrubbing sweeping all those things <laughs> so you set the intention saying i'm clearing all this i'm doing this cleaning so that there is space in my life for dash 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 it could be a new relationship more love in your life it could be money a specific amount of money that you want it could be a certain amount of recognition or success that you want or finding a new purpose you know finding new direction it could be anything or something so precious like i'm clearing this out so that i can learn more things i can get this new knowledge into my life it's got so much potential you can do it without an intention of course and just clean and then just allow things to flow to you no problem that's good too but yeah the intention is a way to harness the power of this even more in a more streamlined way in a way that helps you so much better so these are the five full moon rituals that i have for you today 
So let me do a quick recap. The first is charging your crystals. If you don't have crystals, get some. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. You can get some only if you feel connected to them. The second one is write, tear, burn. So where you're writing out all your feelings and tearing them up and then just burning them and flushing them and getting rid of them, you know, that energy out of your life. The third is some kind of cleansing, like an energetic cleansing around your house, around your space. It could be a, a sound related cleansing or a fragrance related, like smudging and, you know, smoking things out, that kind of cleansing. The fourth is meditation with, again, a clear intention. Any meditation is fine, but if you specifically focus on doing a full moon related meditation, then that's even more beneficial for you. And finally, the decluttering as well as physical cleaning around your house, your space, your life. I forgot to mention, digital decluttering helps too because we have so much clutter, you know, in our, on our systems, on our phones, wherever, right? Music collection, photo collection, whatever it is. So any kind of decluttering, any kind of cleaning works, but doing it with intention, stating what you're creating space for, what you want to attract into your life because of this cleaning and because of this decluttering, doing it with that kind of intention is going to make it even more effective. So yeah, <laughs> this is it. These are all the full moon rituals for you and I hope you found all these useful and maybe even learned a couple of new tricks or new ideas which you didn't know before. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Message me on uh, Instagram. You can DM me or you can email me at thefeelgoodfactor at veganosaurus.com and uh, share your thoughts. What were your takeaways from this episode? What helped you? What do you think you will do out of this? Or what is it that you've already been doing? Share your own experiences. If you have any questions, ask me. I'd be very happy to respond to them. If it's questions, then what I suggest is you go to my website and in the blog post of this episode, there is a little place for you to leave me a voice, a recorded voice note. And I prefer to take all questions that way. I'll use your note in one of the following episodes and uh, respond to that and answer all your uh, questions on it. I'd always appreciate a shout out on social media. You could take a screenshot of this episode on whatever your podcast player is and then share it on your Instagram stories or a post and tag me in it. If it's a post, share your takeaways there. It would really help to spread the word about the podcast as well as this content, this specific episode, today's full moon episode, which might be useful for so many people. They might be waiting for this guidance and it, it's the thing that they they need and they'll get to hear it through you. Go to my website, veganosaurus.com. That is www.veganosaurus.com and scroll down to the bottom and there's a way to sign up for the Feel Good Tribe newsletter. I send this out maybe once or twice a month, not more than that. I share stories in it, which I don't share anywhere else. I talk about my podcast episodes. I talk about my classes, courses. I share content I have found extremely inspiring by others. So I share links to those. There's a lot of content and value put into that newsletter. Do join it. I look forward to seeing you inside the Feel Good Tribe. All right, talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Feel Good Factor. I'm Susmita Veganosaurus and I'm looking forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye!